Faith-Based Wednesday, where we share our stories of faith to empower you to share yours. I'm Melanie File, Associate Director of Evangelization at St. Dennis Parish in Madison, Wisconsin. And today I have a special treat <laughs> for all the listening audience. Um, the background of this is I'm here on Zoom with my friend Char Petrus. <laughs> did I get it right? You did. Um, Char was my team leader when I took a gap year and traveled with a volunteer ministry team called NET. NET stands for National Evangelization Teams. And Char and I were on a team together for a school year. We lived, we prayed, we did many retreats. We were exhausted and rejuvenated together. And Char had a cool experience um, during our training week, our training five weeks um, that has something to do with the Eucharist. And I'll let her tell the story, but since this is the year of the Eucharist at St. Dennis, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to reconnect with Char. So Char, thanks for joining us. Happy to be here. Thanks, Mel, for reaching out. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your um, experience during the NET commissioning mass. And if you want to give a little background, that's fine too. Yeah, I think the NET Ministries program, um, it was very, it's a very Catholic organization. And um, so I was understanding that I was heading out to be very Catholic, which I, you know, I have a faith from childhood. And I was wrestling with, okay, Lord, how really this little wafer is really you? Like, just like struggling, like wanting to understand. And so I remember praying on my knees during mass, these words that I shared with you and asking him to help me. And unexpectedly, when I went up to receive communion that day, I received the precious blood and the instant it touched my tongue, it felt very thick, which wine doesn't usually get described as thick. Right. And then suddenly it had this salty sensation and it just struck me. I'm like, this tastes like blood. And I wasn't blood. I don't believe that he gave me actual blood. I think he gave me a sensation that was an answer to an immediate prayer. And I remember just walking back in awe that I had only just asked the question and he didn't waste any time encountering me personally to deepen this understanding and this truth of our faith. And so from that point forward, I was just, I've never forgotten it. It's been a touchstone moment for me that I go back to and remind myself of this great and incredible gift. So, yeah. That's incredible, Shar. What advice do you have for anybody who is having the same question for you as you did? You know, is this really you, Jesus? Yes. I am a person who, you know, I'm in no position to of authority. I'm just I'm just a mom. I'm just a friend. I'm just a daughter of the Lord. So and from that humble perspective, I think what I would say is Jesus loves us in a personal way. And he wants to know me and he wants to answer my questions and have conversation with me. And that was my experience in that moment was I had welcomed him personally into my life as like, I, you know, I, I have a, I was having a relationship with him and, and it was growing. And I was having, in that moment, I was having a conversation and he chose to answer me in a very real way. And so that's what I would say. I would just say the Eucharist is the source and summit but the relationship is essential and he can work in that. Amen, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah, praise God. Thanks Absolutely. for sharing this story. He's good, he is so good, yes, he is so good and so personal, so real. We're gonna take a moment 
Um, thank you so much for sharing your story. We're going to take a moment just to pray. Holy Spirit, we thank you and praise you for the gift of Shar and the way that you have moved and are moving in her life and her relationship with you. Lord, help us to recognize the moments when you touch each of us and give us the courage to respond to you in faith. Yes. Lord, give us the courage to respond and share our moments with other people so that we can grow and continue um, the goodness of our relationships with you and in community. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for giving me that opportunity. It's fun to share. Yeah. If you were inspired by Shara's story today and you have a story of your own that you'd like to share on Witness Wednesday, get in touch. My email address is on the screen. God bless you.